Hello, Twin Flame Soulmate Collective, and welcome back, Aquarius. Today, I'm going to be channeling messages focusing on the mutual energy between you, Aquarius, and your Twin Flame Soulmate. I'm also going to be channeling messages focusing on the current strength within your connection, as well as how you can continue to strengthen your Twin Flame Soulmate journey. But before I begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Alexa Tarot, and I am a second-degree Reiki practitioner, as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I want to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike for your love, your support and your loyalty to our channel. I greatly appreciate it. If you can please continue to like, share and subscribe so that I can continue to bring you these channeled messages. All right, Aquarius, let's take a look here at you and your twin flame or soulmate. What is the mutual energy right now at this moment in time? These are timeless readings and please know whichever stage of your relationship or your twin flame journey you may be, um, these messages are meant for you. So whether you're in the beginning stages of your connection, whether you're a seasoned couple, or even if you are married to your twin flame soulmate, uh, these, ener these energies, these, um, uh, I'm getting energy from this already. Hold on one second. Um, these messages are here for you. Okay. Now we are, in, uh, Mercury retrograde right now, even though this, this is a timeless reading. So if I kind of going to get a little stuck on my words, just know, giving you guys a heads up now, very interesting. You guys have here, don't let the past hold you back here for the mutual energy within your connection. Now, this is, I'm getting two different messages here. Okay. So one is for you as a couple. So this is telling me here, um, that I'm getting this energy of either you, either you or your twin flame together as a couple, you guys going back to conversations, rehashing things from the past, maybe bringing in old, um, maybe arguments, maybe disagreements, maybe discussions that you've already had, but you're like rehashing it again. It's like things that have already happened, maybe even talking about old flaws or how things used to be and just bringing that into the present. And this is saying here, don't let your past hold you back. So don't let those flaws from the past or those um, situations that may have happened here between you and your twin flame or your soulmate to, you know, those things from the past, don't let those things be an obstacle or a challenge or a blockage right now at this moment in time. Okay. So that's what I'm getting here for both of you as a couple. Now, the second message that I'm getting here is you guys individually. Okay. So for some of you, this energy here is telling me that there may be something that you Aquarius individually are going through or your twin flame individually going through. And what I mean by going through, I feel this, this energy of being pulled to the, to the past. Okay. To things that may have happened here. It, it might not even be within this connection. They may have, or they may reside or come from past trauma, family situations in the past, uh, prior relationships, but that those issues or those thoughts or that energy from the past is being brought into the present, causing some type of either uh, miscommunication, okay? Because that energy of the past, you're bringing it into your present energy within your twin flame soulmate uh, connection. I feel here that there's this jaded energy or putting up a, a guard up because you, Aquarius, or your twin flame keeps going back to prior experiences that are triggering some type of emotion. Okay. So for some of you, it's triggering some type of emotion. For others of you, it may be triggering some type of communication issues, especially now during this Mercury in retrograde. Um, and for others of you, it may just be, um, again, just thoughts or actions that you may be just doing over and over again, but it's stemming from past situations. Okay. So just giving you a heads up on that. Now, what is your current strength here, Aquarius, along with your twin flame soulmate? So this is a mutual strength. What is the mutual current strength here for Aquarius 
and their twin flame or soulmate. Guys, if you haven't clicked on that subscribe button down here, please do so now so you guys can take part and be part of the Lexa Tarot family. So current strength, you guys are able to move past whatever obstacles, challenges may be, or even blockages that may be in your, uh, present energy. Okay. So you have the ability here as a couple to overcome this mutual energy that I was just talking about. Um, uh, or I should say the mutual energy that I was talking about a little while ago. So you guys have the chariot and you guys also have the ace of pentacles. This is, this is talking about, let's start from the beginning. Let's do a brand new start. And some of you may be even thinking about this, especially when you get into this energy right over here. But let me start here with the chariot. Now the chariot says, we go forward with confidence. Now granted, I know that this says I is written in the singular, but remember this is a mutual current strength here. So mutually it's, we go forward with confidence. There is a sense of passion that still remains here within this twin flame soulmate connection between the both of you. And I'm saying that because there is here the carnelian and the carnelian crystal has a lot to do with the sacral chakra, which is all about passion. Uh, you know, ignited uh, motivation. Um, so there is this feeling of a lot of passion and fire within your connection. What I'm also getting here is there's, there's the sense of being proactive. It's like both you and your twin flame or you and your twin flame. Okay. How, whichever horse you guys want to pick for yourselves, but it's like, I'm feeling that both of you or riding or going in the same direction. Okay. Um, and I feel here with this, um, person here, I feel that this is the ethereal. This is the, um, the energy, the ethereal, your guides, your spiritual, um, whether, whether you have a spiritual belief or religious belief, the higher self, uh, creator, um, you know, many different names for that, but I'm getting this as is like the universe kind of in a way, helping both of you get to where you want to get to. And that is the strength within this connection between the both of you. I'm also getting here with the Ace of Pentacles. This is all about new beginnings, right? And Pentacles is a um, a hard substance, right? It's it's a coin. And this is telling me that there is this grounded feeling or grounded foundation that you, Aquarius, and your twin flame or your soulmate um, have as a strength together within uh, this connection, okay? This also says here, we are always rewarded for all that we do. So whether it is that both of you take time to acknowledge each other's energy or input or investment, whether that be you know, a uh, tangible investment, whether that be the investment of time, the investment of energy, or putting in all your emotions and love into this connection. This is telling me here with the Ace of Pentacles, you have that working to, you know, that you have a plus here. Okay. And that is your mutual strength. Now, um, here at the top of the Ace of Pentacles, you guys have the Melakite stone that is represented Brett represent, I'm telling you, I told you a mercury retrograde, um, that's representing your heart chakra. So I do feel that there is this solid foundation here in regards to how you feel with each other, the, uh, love that, that connects you both and the ability to really see that this connection is something worth and continue uh, worth continuing to invest in. Okay. And that's how it's coming across here as your uh, current strength. Okay. Now let's take a look at how you can continue to strengthen your twin flame soulmate journey. How can you continue to strengthen your twin flame soulmate journey? And you guys have, look at this, not for you. So whenever it is that you guys feel that you are at opposite ends of a, of the spectrum. Now I talked about this earlier and what's interesting is I was showing you with my hands exactly how I was feeling. And it's very interesting because that's exactly how it's coming in here. You also have no place like home. I'll talk about that in a minute. So remember that I said that there may be things here happening with you solely Aquarius or your twin flame. You guys are at the opposite ends of the spectrum. Maybe dealing with things from the past or your own past that is causing or triggering something here at this moment in time, okay? Or it could be you together 
Okay. So with the together one, it's like, I'm feeling that this is the together energy when you guys are uh, together as a couple. And when there is this separate individual situation that I was talking about earlier, regardless of whether this is resonating with you as an individual or as a couple, this is telling me here that there is this need to come together, to not see things just in black and white. Okay. So this side is black. Uh, the pawns are black on this side and the other pawns here are white. There is this need to compromise and continue to work on the compromise in order for you guys to continue to strengthen your twin flame soulmate co connection. Now, very interesting because this also has one specific picture in the middle and this is a house and the house is lit inside. Okay. This is telling me here that there is a need to continue to be very clear um, and uh, open and authentic with each other when it comes to matters of the heart, when it comes to things that you guys are feeling in the heart chakra in order for you guys to know exactly what you need to do together and how you can continue to work together because you are here. Remember this energy, it says, don't let the past hold you back. So don't allow past mistakes uh, to keep re re resurfacing here within this connection. Um, and, you know, starting to trigger things that may, uh, that may cause more, uh, uh, you know, bumping of the heads here. Okay. Now, last but not least, I have, how can you continue to strengthen your connection? And guess what popped out of the deck for you guys? You guys have expect a miracle. Now it says here, have faith that your prayers. Now I'm going to add more to prayers. So for some of you who are religious, maybe prayers fit your dynamic, but for others of you that may be spiritual, it could be this, it could be your, vi the visualization, the visions that you are, um, projecting your manifestation, the law of attraction, whatever tool you are using to make things happen and to bring this type of unity within your connection. That is what this is talking about. And it's saying, um, your intentions, your desires, your wishes, your dreams, your manifestations. And for some of you, your prayers have been heard and are being answered. So there is this sense here that you guys are not alone. Exactly what I was channeling with you guys or for you guys earlier, that I feel that this is the ethereal, the universe guiding and helping you guys along the way. Aquarius, I hope these messages were insightful. Click here on the Lexa Tarot logo to be part of the Lexa Tarot family. Click down here for more messages and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.